Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome to my next weekend mini project, a game that all of you Kirby fans should be very, very familiar with. If you're not, I have pity for you. But anyway, here it is. It's Kirby's Dreamland, Kirby's very first adventure game. Uh, that's right, uh, I am doing this as a weekend mini project. The only reason why I'm not doing it as an actual Let's Play is because, uh, this game is very, very short, and I have a feeling I'll finish this probably before even 30 minutes, but who knows, I have to actually play the game first to see if that actually happens. But either way, even though this is a weekend mini-project, this project is going to have its own playlist, and it's going to be treated as a main project, uh, so uh, you will still definitely see this on my playlist list and everything. Now, for those of you wondering like how I'm going to do this, like... Uh, since the project will only be one video, some of you might be thinking, well, why make a playlist for it? Well, I might actually play this game again uh, through the hard mode after I beat the main mode. I haven't decided if I'm going to have both playthroughs up today, but for sure I am going to have this playthrough. So um, let's actually go ahead and get started. I think I've kind of talked enough. So yeah, this is uh, Kirby's very first adventure. Uh, one thing worth noting is this is before Kirby had actually any of his, uh, copy abilities. So, uh, yeah, he's not gonna be able to copy any power-ups, he just has his standard, uh, suck and blow abilities. Uh, no jokes, please. And, uh, he can also do his little floaty move, too. So, this is very, very, very simplistic in comparison to the Kirby games that, you know, we see in the modern day because Kirby's not made of yarn, he cannot get these super uber powers that can break anything, and uh, a lot of other stuff that you see in modern Kirby games that you don't see in this one. Oh, he also can't split up into ten different variations of Kirby, like in the Kirby Mass Attack either. This is just straight up, simple, Kirby eats enemies and spits them back out. That's essentially what this game is. It's very, very easy, not very long. Wow, I was facing the wrong way right there. But yeah, that's uh, what we have here, Kirby's Dreamland. Um, I guess I'll give a little history with uh, me in this game. Uh, this was actually the very first Game Boy game. Uh, yeah, this was on the Game Boy, if you couldn't tell by the uh, gray and white, black uh, color palettes that were back in the old Game Boy days. Uh, but yeah, this was the very first uh, Game Boy game I ever received as a gift. Um, I did have a few Game Boy games before this, uh, but they were actually my dad's. So when I got this game as a gift, it was almost like my dad's Game Boy had been handed off to me. So the gaming torch had been handed off to Slim Kirby, I guess you could say. At least in terms of portable gaming. They did have a Super NES before I got the Game Boy officially, so... Uh, yeah, that's my little story about Kirby's Dreamland, and, uh, I actually got the game, uh, through some relatives, uh, I had some relatives that had kids that really loved this game, and when I got the game, they actually wouldn't let me play it, because they felt like I didn't know what to do, so they felt like they had to show me what to do in this game before I could play it, which, uh, I found very annoying, and what's funny is, they actually could not beat the game when, uh, they played it, and, like, they had the game and everything. I mean, I'm sure they had beaten it before, but whatever, for whatever reason, they weren't on their game. And, uh, sure enough, like, the next day, one that was still over, I played the game and I actually beat it. So, uh, I always thought that was really cool, how I had a little, uh, gaming master moment at that point. So, yeah, I always liked that. Okay, here's, uh, the first appearance of Wispy Woods, and not only this game, but in the series, too, so... Okay, for some reason my controls are a little iffy. Whenever I'm swallowing, it doesn't work that well for the directional pad, but it's fine, I'll deal with it. But yeah, this is uh, Kirby's Dreamland. Uh, come on. The controls are definitely a lot more fluid in the uh, more recent Kirby games, but again, I'm not complaining. It's just, you know, this was back in the day when the controls weren't as fluid as they are in current day games, I guess you could say. But yeah, that is the uh, story how I uh, first got acquainted with Kirby. And, you know, I mean, I wouldn't say that Kirby's my favorite video game series, which I know a lot of people are like, how could your name be Slim Kirby and you don't even think Kirby's your favorite series? Well, 
I love the character of Kirby, but that doesn't mean I think his series is the best. Uh, for those who know me pretty well, my favorite series is obviously the Mario series because of mainly just the variety of different kinds of games you can find in the Mario series. Um, you know, I always like that, how it's not just, you know, platforming and RPGs, it's also sports, parties, racing, and a bunch of other stuff, too. But anyway, this is not about Mario, it's about Kirby. And, uh, you know, I just really love the character of Kirby. I thought his games were really, really cool. And I also love how the games, like, they have a decent learning curve. Like, the games aren't too hard, but the better you get at them, you can kind of make your own challenges, like, see how fast you can beat the game, and, you know, that kind of thing. And yeah, that's kind of what I've always liked about the Kirby series, even though it's not my favorite. And, you know, it's really weird looking back at this game, especially considering, like, you know, there is no copy ability here, there's no, uh, other gimmicks that you see in, like, a lot of the future games. It's just very, very simple. Ah, come on. Yeah, my controls are still acting a little weird, but I'm, I'm definitely getting used to it. I'm trying to also show off all the different secret rooms you can find, although the rewards for all the secret rooms aren't really that spectacular. Just, you know, different rooms you can find with different little small things. Oh, and here's the first appearance of, uh, well, maybe not the first appearance, so he probably had his, uh, NES series before this game, but it's Lolo from The Adventures of Lolo. And, like, in those games, he's pushing blocks at us, too, so... That's really cool. I always liked how they had that little effect there. How they made reference to the Lolo games in this game. Okay, so there's a lot of ghosts in here. <laughs> okay, let's get some health, and let's also get this, uh, super spicy curry. I love the music that plays whenever you get the super spicy curry. Also, isn't this very reminiscent of Super Mario World with the flying boos that circle you all around? I don't, I don't remember if this game came out before or after Super Mario World. Pardon me, I to say before, but um, I should have looked at the release date of this game when we were at the title screen. Who knows, maybe Mario borrowed something from Kirby, who knows. Okay, um... I believe the right door you want to go inside is at the top, but these other doors just lead you to other doors around the room. Like that. So I could probably... Yeah, I'll just go ahead and end it here. We're almost done. I believe the boss is in the next room. Yep, it's Lolo and Lala. Also, despite how simple the music is, I think the music in this game is really, really good. I don't know, there's a lot of tunes that I just, you know, didn't remember looking back at this game, so... I always found that kind of interesting. Okay, Lala's been defeated. Now we just gotta get Lolo now. Speaking of Lolo, Nintendo, put Lolo 3 on the Virtual Console, please. It's been too long. And I need to Let's Play that game. I don't want to do it on emulator, because I did the first two, not on emulator, so... Please, get on that. We need Lolo 3 on the Virtual Console right now. There's also a Lolo game for the uh, Game Boy, too, that they could also put on the 3DS shop, but... I have a feeling they're not going to do that for a while. Okay, so here we have Flow Islands. A uh, little fun fact, I guess you could say. Um, in uh, Kirby Superstar, the uh, Milky Way... Not Milky Way Wishes, uh, Spring Breeze mode, which is kind of like a parallel to this game. Um... The second level, which I believe is called Float Islands, it's actually a combination of both uh, this level and Castle Lolo. It's, you know, basically the same game, but, um, you know, they kind of combined those two levels and took out the boss of this world and put um, Lolo and Lala as the boss of the uh, Spring Breeze mode for both of those levels consecutively. But then in uh, Superstar Ultra, they actually brought back the boss of this world in a much different way, which I'll definitely go over when we get there. I also, I really like the Superstar Ultra. I'm glad they did that. Now they made, you know, pretty much the same game, but they definitely added a few modes, too. And the modes were actually interesting, too. They weren't just, like, throwaway modes or anything. 
Okay, so, ow. That hurt. Also, watch out for Gordos whenever you see them, because uh, I believe this is the game where, um... I might be thinking of the hard mode, though. But this is the game where Gordos do an obsessively big amount of damage, and uh, you do not want that. Oh, sweet, we have a 1-up. We really don't need a 1-up, but I'll take it. Okay, I don't think there's anything over here. No, there's not. I'll go over here. It's also kind of weird, because in uh, future Kirby games, well, at least in the games where you can actually float around, uh, in this game you actually have to hold up on the directional pad, which does feel weird. In future games, they just use the jump button, which uh, I think is definitely a lot easier. Does this go anywhere, or is there something down here I need to look at first? Hmm. I imagine this is probably the, uh, secret if there is one. Oh, nope. I was wrong. My bad. Oh, well, I probably missed the secret right there, but not a big deal. Because we have more super spicy curry. Which, another fun fact, this item was actually used in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Although I'm sure that a lot more people know that fact. Now that's a very, very unobvious one or anything. But we actually get to see it in action in this game, which I don't think they actually brought back the curry for, uh... Well, no, I don't, I, they might have, they might have. I might just not be thinking of the right game, but, um... You don't get to see the super spicy curry very much, and they try to actually pass it off as a pretty big item in this game. I always thought that was really, really random, having a whale right there that just takes you to the clouds. But whatever, I'm not a video game designer. Okay, so here's the third boss. Uh, this is Kablua, if I remember correctly. But yeah, I guess they took this boss out of uh, Kirby Superstar's uh, Spring Breeze, uh, just because it didn't really seem like it fit. Because you don't use, you know, Kirby's standard, standard abilities here, you use just a variation of the uh, super spicy stuff. But yeah, that's a Kablua, pretty easy boss. And now we're going to move on to the last world of the game, well, technically second to last, but the last, like, full-length world. Bubbly clouds. Look at how bubbly it is. Okay, so, uh, naturally we all know who we're going to fight here, because this boss also appeared in have seen amount of Kirby games. Uh, one of the games I actually played for the very first time very recently, uh, thanks to the, uh, 3DS Ambassador program was uh, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, and I have to admit, I was really impressed with that game. I mean, I wouldn't say it's my favorite Kirby game or anything, like, there's still plenty of others that I like more than that, but I really liked how they tried to combine Kirby with Metroid in a sense. It really felt like a Metroid game more than a Kirby game, but it was really cool, too. But yeah, that was the first time I ever played that game, and I really, really enjoyed it, so, uh... Props to the uh, developers behind that project. Ow. Those guys are actually really annoying in this game. Well, anyway, since I'm uh, going through this, I guess I'll also talk about the hard mode of this game, which, uh... I don't remember it being really that different until actually getting this game on the uh, 3DS uh, Virtual Console. My guy, the hard mode is insane. Basically, I mean, it's what you'd expect. The enemies are a lot more dangerous, there are more enemies, and the bosses are also more dangerous, too. Uh, but it's actually more than that. A lot of the move enemies have different movement patterns, and especially on this level in particular, they go insane. It's like they're all trying to, like, suicide bomb you, which is just, like, like I said, very insane, and it's just... I was surprised at how difficult it was. Also, secret right here with another one of these, uh, little pepper things. I'm gonna go ahead and call those things pepper things, so if they're... If it's not the right name, I apologize, but I really don't care. Oh, okay, cool. We have, uh, Krako Jr. now. Krako Jr. is also kind of annoying because he's very, very sporadic with his movements. But he has a pretty obvious attack pattern once you figure it out. 
but on hard mode, my god, this guy's insane. Oh, dang it, I, I didn't want to kill you. You were my friend, and I killed you. I'm so sorry, Waddle-Doo. Also, the enemies look just so much weirder in this game compared to their more modern designs. The Waddle-Doo, that looks completely different. In future games, I mean, Waddle-Doo's look like just, you know, Waddle-Dee's with one eye. And in this game, they look like different species altogether. But yeah, that's just the way I see it anyway. Ow. Oh, okay, yeah, see, that's what I was talking about earlier. Gordos really do do an insane amount of damage to you. But yeah, whatever. We're almost done with this world, and almost done with the game. Now, the last world is also pretty long. I guess I shouldn't have said it was, wasn't a full-length world. Because it's really not a full-length world, more just like a combination of all of the worlds that we've been through so, so far, so... And we also have to fight all the bosses again, too, so that's another thing. Through all these blocks. Oh wait, shoot, was there something over there? Okay, I can't go in this door anymore, which is kind of a weird thing. Why show the door if I can't enter it? Oh well, that's just me being picky, I guess. Anyway, secret room if I don't get hit by umbrellas everywhere if you go inside the moon. Then you fall for a seemingly a long amount of time. Get the maximum tomato, and ooh, let's get the one up too. And there we go. I didn't remember if there was like no flooring or if that was superstar, which it was superstar. Wait, no, no, there was flooring because you had to fight the mini boss if you uh, fell all the way there. Yeah, I don't remember things too good. But anyway, we have Krako. Krako's first appearance, and he's a lot skinnier in this game. He looks so much bigger in all the future games. His pattern is also a bit less obvious than this. But again, this was uh, Kirby's first adventure, so I'll cut the uh, developers some slack in those aspects. Like, he's not even swooping down, which I thought he did, even in this game, but I guess I was mistaken. It's really gonna be that easy. But there we go! We beat all four worlds, and now we're gonna go to the final world. Still haven't lost a life yet, but again, not surprised, this game isn't that hard. And we have Mount Day Day Day. Gosh, DDD has definitely told himself to have portraits in a row in that little hallway of his. Anyway, here's the uh, rematch room, I guess you could say. We have to fight all four bosses again, and we have to do small little mini stages. I guess I'll just go in order. I know, how boring, going in order, but I really don't care. But yeah, these really are mini stages because they're not very long, they're only one room usually. And then at the very end, you see a door with a Gordo in front of it. How do we get rid of that Gordo? Well, we have to destroy this Kirby doll right here. Or, no, we have to walk into it. My bad. But once we do that, we have to fight the boss. Which we have to fight. Which be Woods again. Now, was it just me, or did I have more trouble with Wispy Woods than I did any of the bosses? Which is kind of sad. Oh, uh, well. That'll definitely change in hard mode, because definitely all the other bosses get a lot more insane. Okay, so let's keep throwing apples out of space, and there we go. Wispy Woods has been defeated. Okay, let's go to the Lolo and La 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 room again. I hate those things. Jerk! Why did you have to hit me? What did I ever do to you? So yeah, like the other room, we have to get the Kirby and then go in here for the boss fight. 
strangely, on easy mode, this might be the most difficult boss. I don't know. It's hard to say. Maybe none of them are easy. They're, well, maybe they're all easy, and there's no one hard boss. That's probably a more accurate statement. But there we go. Second room beaten. Let's, uh, I don't know, let's crack those rooms. I meant to go to this room, the Float Island room. There we go. Now let's fight our good friend, the Kablua, again. I did not mean to get hit right there. I really want to finish this game without dying, but I don't know if that'll happen now, especially since he did that. I don't remember, like, I mean, I'm sure DDD is not that difficult, and he has a pretty obvious pattern. I just can't remember what it is, because I haven't played this game since, uh... Well, I guess to be fair, I did play this game last year around this time when I did my, uh, Kirby Streamland stream, which I thought was really fun. Although, my god, that took forever. I was, I was literally, I literally went from noon on a Monday to 7 a.m. Tuesday. And my god, I was tired after that. But alas, that stream is over now. I need to do another stream very soon. Oh, oh, there's a swooping attack. Way to finally change up, Cracko. Finally, it's designed to be a challenge for once. Like, I thought he had a swooping attack. Because I remember I had some trouble with him when I did my uh, 3DS playthrough recently. But I couldn't remember if it was the hard mode or this mode. No! Wow, way, way to be predictable. Not. You're not being predictable! You're breaking all the rules of enemy AI! Dang it! Okay, whatever. My first death. Probably my first and only death, too. Although, we'll see. I forgot I had to go through the room again. That's kind of lame. Okay, let's try this again, with, uh, more expected swooping this time. That seriously surprised me, because I, I honestly didn't remember if he did the swoop attack or not. Oh, well, he does. I wonder if the swoop is just something they add to this part just to make this boss fight harder, but I don't remember. Now, if this is more advanced Wispy Woods, you do a bunch of, like, different weather attacks at the same time. I really do love how the, uh, uh, Kirby Superstar Krako had, like, so many different attacks. All of them weather-related. But there we go! We've, uh, beaten all the rooms, and now we only have one boss left. King DDD himself. He has a lot more health than all the other bosses we've seen so far. And I believe it's also kind of more uh, random to get him to uh, do the attack you need him to do before you can attack him. There we go. That's definitely the easy attack to get stars from when he does the jump. And the hammer, too. The hammer. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No! Dang it. Okay. Well, I think I can do this now. There we go. Okay. 
Okay. This pattern's a lot more obvious now. Basically, it's better to wait before you fly over him. Because he might do his hammer attack, he might do the jump attack, you never know. I find it kind of weird how he does the jump attack more before he dies. Because that's almost like for him asking you to destroy him. And there we go. Kirby's Dream Land has been beaten. And I don't remember if it was this game or the superstar I'm thinking of, but, um... Is this where, uh, the castle turns into a giant Kirby balloon? Yes, it is! <laughs> I love that. I love how it's a giant Kirby balloon. Oh, and I guess I should explain the plot of this game. <laughs> Not that it's a very in-depth plot or anything, but uh, basically King Diddy steals all the food from Dreamland and Kirby has to go get it back. So yeah, that's the plot. Very simple. <laughs> Not one to really uh, confuse anybody or anything. But yeah, there we go. That was uh, Kirby's Dreamland. Um, well, since we have the credits, I guess I better start reflecting on the project. Um, Wow, this project, I mean, when I started this project such a long time ago, like, 25 minutes ago, I, I never thought I would ever reach the end, but, um, okay, no, this is stupid. <laughs> oh, that was a stupid joke, I'm sorry. But yeah, that's uh, Kirby's Dreamland, and uh, like I said, I am going to be doing a playthrough of the hard mode. Again, I don't know if it's going to be on the same day as this or not. I would like to make it on the same day, but I just don't know yet. We'll see, I guess. If I, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know at the end of this video, and then on my channel if I'm going to do it again. But yeah, that's the uh, normal mode. I'm at least going to show this, of course. And uh, before I leave, I do have uh, something to uh, announce to you guys. Um, if you watched the uh, last video of my... Um, well, not the last video, but the... Uh, the, mo the most recent War Room map I did for Advance Wars, I explained that when I was going to do this project, that this uh, this video was going to be related to one of my next Let's Plays that I'd be doing after I finish a Super Mario RPG. And uh, that's actually true. So, think about it really hard, guys. I just finished Kirby's Dreamland 1. What game could I be doing after Super Mario RPG? One that's related to Kirby's Dream Land 1. Hmm. I'll let you guys figure it out, and I'm going to go ahead and assume that you guys know what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, I'll see you guys for the hard mode playthrough of this game. Also, don't know if that's going to be just one video like this is. It probably will be, but I'm not sure yet. I, I might die a lot, so it might take me a little longer. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. See ya, folks.